G'day guys, welcome to another episode of Friday Beers and Tools. This week we have another boutique type beer. I'm not going to drink VB, am I? Or oh, Foster's. Uh, this week we are reviewing the uh, Five Pub Circus Fearless Freddy Session IPA. That's a mouthful. Let's just put my glasses on and Quite an interesting label this one. Give you things to read. Maybe a circus is a crazy place to find brewing in inspiration, but maybe we are a bit crazy ourselves. Finding inspiration in those unique and daring circus characters we've brewed a beer full of citrus aromas and bold hop flavours. The result is a fearless Freddy's Mar Marvelous Session IPA. I'm not a big fan of IPAs. Um, a lot of my mates rave about Indian Pale Ale. Um, there are a couple that I will drink, but uh, generally I'm not a huge fan. Anyway, let's give this one a go. Wow, I think I like Indian Pale Ale. Uh, the Fearless Freddy Session IPA is a very nice beer. It's 4.2%, uh, um, One that's 1 1.1 standard drinks in a 330ml stubby. Uh, it is made by the MacArthur Range Brewery in Victoria, same as last week's beer, uh, and it's made for uh, big supermarket a beer retailer called Liquorland in Australia. I like it. That's a nice beer. Um, yeah, what can I say? It does have sort of a, a very light citrusy flavour, not quite as much as a Pacific Ale, um, but it's a it's a very nice beer. Radio, on to our tool of the week. Uh, this is one, another one of the uh, Milwaukee M12 range. Um, this one's got a bit of a story behind it. Uh, a mate of mine bought one of these uh, not very long ago and said, you need to get one of these, very handy. Um, you need to review it on your tool program. And uh, I looked at it and um, in Australia, the cheapest I could get the skin for was about two hundred and sixty-one odd dollars, which uh, it's it's a cutoff wheel. It's not even a grinder. It's a it's a it's a miniature cutoff wheel. I better tell you what it is first. It's a three-inch uh, M12 fuel, so it's a brushless uh, cutoff wheel. Uh, now I've got grinders with cutoff wheels. I've got grinders with grinding discs. I've got cordless grinders, I've got, you name it, um, mostly in the uh, Makita range. Um, this is my first um, Milwaukee uh, cut-off wheel type uh, arrangement. Pardon me, ooh, IPA's got a bit of gas to it. Um, anyway, uh, cheapest I can get the skin for in Australia was about $261, uh, which for a fairly specialised tool I didn't think was very good value. I stumbled across uh, a cron. I stumbled across on Ab Amazon the other day uh, on Amazon US uh, the kit. So normally, as you know, I've been buying my M12 gear as skins, tools only, not as a kit. This kit was so well priced, I couldn't pass it up. This kit was $294.39 delivered from Amazon US. Uh, it comes with the tool, with a bag, I'll show you, uh, with a four amp hour, hour battery and a charger. The caveat on the charger is it's 110 volts, which doesn't work in Australia. Uh, however, there's something we can do there as well. Uh, so let's have a look at the kit. This is the M12 FCOT 
in Australia. I don't actually think in Australia Milwaukee is selling them as a kit, so therefore it will be the M12 FCOT-0, meaning it's a skin. Uh, in America, this is a 2522-20 kit. Rightio, let's unbox it. I love unboxing. Straight away, nice Milwaukee bag. Uh, bags are handy if you're uh, a tradie, throw your tools in the back of your truck. Uh, a bag helps protect them, obviously. For me, in a workshop, I've not a big I don't need bags, which is why the skins are probably better value for me. All right, here we go. What a cute little thing. So that's the actual tool. What else is in the bag here? So we've got an Allen key or a hex wrench for you Americans and another part. Ah yes, this is the uh, dust collector. Allows you to hook up your shop back to the top here and this attaches to the tool. And uh, which is a really good thing if you're using uh, any carbide type discs. Um, silicosis is the next big thing. Um, it's gonna kill a lot of people, a lot of us tradie types. Uh, if you're doing anything with grinding or cut off wheels that are the uh, silicon type, the, the stuff that makes lots of dust, please wear a respirator. Um, silicosis is apparently every bit as bad as asbestosis and more and more young tradies are actually suffering from it and dying early. It's bad stuff. So very handy that uh, Milwaukee has included the dust collector with it. I know it makes tools harder to use because it makes them, you know, less compact. Um, but if you can't use a dust collector, please wear a respirator. What else have we got in here? Ooh, haven't got one of these. This is a Milwaukee 4 ampere hour M12 battery. And just to compare it to the, uh, this one's a three and a half ampere hour battery, uh, no name brand, I question their uh, capacity. You can see that uh, it fits into the same size. However, this is Milwaukee's own brand and it is for ampere hour. Um, just to show you how they click together. It wasn't very positive. There we go. So let's click in there. What else is in the bag? Okay, we've got uh, three discs included. Uh, as I said, it's a three inch uh, cutoff disc. Um, this is probably one of the things that I could see would be very useful for this little tool. Uh, this is a tile um, diamond uh, cutoff blade. Um, this one is a drywall fiber cement and plastic cutoff blade, drywall, um, gyprock in Australia. And your good old, please kill me slowly with silicosis uh, type wheel. I have ordered a Lennox um, uh, wheel, I'll put a picture up here, uh, which is for cutting metal, which isn't the uh, abrasive type, uh, because I'm trying to avoid these in my old age, as I get older and smarter, apparently. What else is in the box? Almost useless in Australia, a 110 volt charger. Don't despair. I will do a video on this and how you can convert them easily and quickly and cheaply to, to run off 240 volt. Uh, you need to change the plug obviously to an Australian uh, three pin plug uh, and you, there is one component to change inside the unit. That's a whole different story, another, uh, another video away. 
at the moment it's useless to me uh, because we don't have 110 volts and the bag the, ba the yeah that typical for packing they always put lots of cardboard in these things and yep some oh and of course you get a little catalog to make you drool over all of the other m12 range that you don't already have holy crap i've still got a few to buy Shh, don't tell my wife please don't tell mrs gray okay so let's put away the bits that we're not interested in namely the charger uh, we've talked about the uh, cutoff wheels um, I don't know how that attaches. I assume it's fairly easy. Hmm. Look at that liner. And the tools. Radio. I suppose you should get a disc out to show you how a disc attaches. Let's go the nasty lung disease type one. Alright, uh, let's talk about the unit. Uh, the tool in Australia is as I said a some of these batteries are really hard to there we go uh, is a M12 FCOT-0 is the skin uh, they are reversible forward and reverse they have a trigger mech and a light like all Milwaukee stuff um, it spins at 20,000 rpm and it has a 3 8 inch arbor. So when you buy your discs, 3 8 inch hole. Uh, it does have the locking, like a lot of grinders nowadays, have a locking button on it, and you do need a, an Allen wrench, or in Australia, sorry, an Allen key in America, a hex wrench, we call those Allen keys. And it is a left-hand thread. Uh, this one's already loose. So it has two little plates. Place your tool. It, this, uh, this one does have, you can have any rotation, any direction rotation on it. I like putting the name out. It reminds me how much money I've spent. And remembering it's a left-hand thread, so anti-clockwise to tighten it up. Nowhere to store the Allen key. Milwaukee, lift your game. Last week we reviewed the rivet gun, which had everything stored on it. I'm going to lose that. Yeah, I've got them in my toolkit, of course, but I'm going to lose it, and it's not going to be where the tool is. <sighs> lift your game. Hook the battery up. Wow. Start, stop. It is a fuel motor, so therefore, as you'll know, it is brushless. Wow. That's almost instantaneous. Stop. Uh, it does have the um, battery level indicator on the top here. Um, it's a really nice, light little unit, and of course, uh, fairly compact to get into small spaces. Again, that's why I like the M12 range. It only weighs 1.1 kilos, uh, which is 2.4 pounds in Americanisms. Um, it is 225 mil long, or 8.9 inches long, 120 mil wide, or 4.7 inches, and 88 centimeters thick, or 3.5 inches. Um, right. Let's talk about cost. We've already spoken about it. In Australia, the cheapest I can get this from Milwaukee, from all of the resellers, all of the tool suppliers in Australia, is $261 skin only. In Australia, the four amp hour hour amp hour battery, M12 battery, retails for $115 alone. The charger 
which of course is 240 volt in Australia, uh, is $125. That means that this, this group of tools comes to over $500. And that's without the bag. That is really, really expensive. I bought this whole kit from Amazon for $294 delivered. Yes, I've got to modify this. So let's just take that out of the equation for the time being. We get ripped off in Australia for power tools, uh, and I don't know why. It costs the same to manufacture them. It costs, you know, they send cargo ships full of containers of tools. Why, why, why manufacturers and resellers can't we be paying the same as what America pays for their tools? Uh, that is just ridiculous. Do you need it? Most definitely not. Do you want it when you're a toolaholic like me? Yes, you do, uh, especially since my mate Stu already's got one and I had to have one because he can't have a tool and I can't have one. Um, I've got to have what he has. Same goes back to Stu and you know that. Uh, every time I buy a tool, Stu needs to go out and buy it as well because that's just the way we are. There's no competition whatsoever. Uh, let's talk about value for money. In Australia, ridiculous. No value for money there whatsoever. In fact, I think, Stu, you paid $261, didn't you, for the bear tool? <laughs> Just jokes, mate. Uh, I probably wouldn't have bought one at $261 for the skin because uh, I don't see the, the use in it. Uh, however, when it came up on Amazon, at $294 for the whole kit, I jumped at it, especially since this extra battery. And let's face it, batteries, when you've got these type of tools, having extras is really handy. Um, so for value for money, if you can get this kit from Amazon uh, for $294, it is a bargain. It is five out of five. If you can't get this kit from Amazon, and in fact I looked just before I uh, came on to create this segment, they're sold out of this kit. Maybe I bought the last one. So for you poor Australians uh, who have to pay top dollar for skins in Australia, $261 just for that. Um, so in that case, value for money is um, on my beer scale, I think value for money, it's about a three out of five. It's a, it's a, it's a nice little tool, don't get me wrong, uh, but it's pretty limited in a lot of its use. However, being OCD and I must have all of the M12 range, please don't tell Mrs. Gray. Um, yeah, it's not good value, uh, three out of five. For functionality, uh, it's another specific tool, however, I, I suppose it has a couple of different uses. It would be handy for tile cutting, um, for cutting plastic, uh, things like that, where you probably don't need a full-size grinder. It's compact, it's light, it's cordless. Uh, for functionality, it's probably a three and a half out of five in my beer rating. Uh, you certainly don't need one, but uh, when you've started collecting it's part of the disease. On that note, let's finish up. Thank you very much for watching another episode of Frybat. Uh, please like, share and subscribe as per usual. And uh, hopefully, if Mrs. Gray hasn't killed me for buying more tools, uh, I'll be back next week. See ya. <laughs>